You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Unichi Evangeline Choma. And if you're interested in learning how to make this corset, then this training is for you. It's beginner friendly. So what I'm going to do now is to insert my shoulder measurements divided by two. Shoulder measurement is 14 divided by two. I should have seven inches. So from that point where I marked seven inches, I'm going to come down here by one inch then for my neck width i'm using neck width of three inches though i won't be needing a yoke but in case you need a yoke for this just go ahead and square a line across then you can you know make a curve here so just go ahead and make a line here a curve rather for your neck then what I'm going to do is to divide my bust by 6, then add 1.5 inches for that for my armhole. So once I do that, what I have is 7.5 inches. So next thing I'm going to do, and it's from this, my slope that I came down by 7.5 inches. So next thing I'm going to do is to insert my shoulder measurement here. So this becomes my chest line. So I'm going to do a line across it. So this is my chest line. I'm going to go ahead and level my chest line. So at this point where you marked seven inches for your chest, for your shoulder line, go ahead and square a line across from this point. So once you're done with that, insert your bust measurement divided by four there at your chest line. This is still my chest line. Then after that, you get the midpoint of your shoulder line, your armhole line rather. Get the midpoint, then from there come out or within this line by half an inch. So I'm not going to be using this, but in case you need yoke for your, for your corset, it's going to really be of help to you. So this is my armhole curve. So next thing I'm going to do is to divide my bust point by two. So you measure from one nipple to another, then whatsoever you have divided by two. So mine is seven inches and I am put recording 3.5 inches from this chest line to my hip line. That is what I have here. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and connect the lines together. So after connecting the lines together, next is to insert my boss tightening my guards. So I'm using total of 1.5 inches. So on both sides, I'm going to mark 0.75 inches. This is my under boss. Then for my waistline, I'm going to do the same. Then for my hip line, I am going to mark the same, then connect it with a straight line. So for my that I'm using total of 1.5 inches. So after squaring a line across, next is to come down here by 0.75 inches and make a curve there. You can make a curve or you can connect with your straight line. So you, you're going to go ahead and determine how um, how exposed you want your chest to be. So for me, I will be coming up here by, from my bust point, I'm coming up by 2.5 inches. So I'm going to extend the line there. So I have about 2.5 inches. So from this line, I'm going to mark coming here by half and by towards this um, whole side I'm coming in by one inch then this side I'm coming in here by half an inch to make a dart so I'm again going to connect it to my first point using a very nice curve
So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is on this my chest line, I'm going to come in here by half an inch. Then make a curve. So after making a curve, I'm going to make a curve connecting these points to this point. So after that, next thing I'm going to do now is to measure three and a half inches from here. Then I'm coming down from the center of this line. I have two inches extra there, so half of it should be one inch. So I'm coming down by half an inch. Then I'll make a curve there. Just connect these two points together. Or you can use a very nice curve instead. Use a very nice curve instead. Then at the end of the day, you're going to connect these two points together using a very nice curve. So once I'm done, the next thing I'm going to do now is to start inserting my measurements. Then for my bust measurements, I'm using 36 divided by 4. I should have 9 inches. This is 9 inches. Then I'm going to replace it with this um, allowance that we're taking out from here. So I have a total of 1.5 inches here. So I'm going to go in here by 1.5 inches. So then for my, for my waist, I'm using waist of 28 inches. When divided by 4, I have 7 inches. This is 7 inches. Then I'm going to replace this 1.5 inches of allowance for that over there then my hip is 42 inches divided by 4 I have 10.5 then I'm adding this 1.5 inches back so this is what I have I'm going to connect the lines together you can use a very nice curve or you can use a straight line Whichever one that works for you, or the one you prefer. So after that, next thing I'm going to do is to connect this line to this. So this becomes my new chest line. So what I'm going to do next is to cut out my pattern and show you the next thing. So if you want to attach yoke to it, go ahead and cut out your yoke. But for this particular training, I won't be needing yoke, so I'm not going to make use of it. So after cutting out my pattern, this is how it looks like. So I'm going to place these two together to make a very nice curve. So I'm going to come down here by two inches and mark. Then from here, I'm also going to come down here by one and a half inches. Then make a curve there to give it that bust effect over there. So I can go ahead and cut out the excess and at the end of the day I will tape it or sew it like that. So this is it for the front pattern and without wasting much time let's head to the back pattern. So for my back pattern I'm going to place this front pattern on a fresh pattern paper. Then align it very well. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and trace. I'm going to go ahead and trace out this side. So this is it after tracing. Next is that because I'm going to use a rope for the back that's laid, then I'm going to come in here by three inches. Depends on how wide you want the rope to the lace to be or how open you want your back to be. So six inches is enough for me. So I'm going to connect the line together. going to smoothly connect this together and this is it so when sewing i'm going to add like one inch allowance to all the side to just the side then for the front part i'm not going to add any allowance to it so i had to go ahead and shade this part because i'm not going to it's not included in the blouse so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out So after drafting the pattern, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to tape these two pieces together so that it becomes one. So when cutting on my fabric, I'll fold my fabric into two for this, for almost all. I'll fold my fabric into two. I won't put any allowance here. Then I'll go over to this place and put like half inch allowance or one inch depending on how you want yours. Then for this other piece, I won't be adding allowance to this back side, the center back. Then by the side, I'm going to add like one inch, half inch, or however you want it. So it's going to be by the side. Then for the for the for the bust side, I'm going to go out, cut out my my fabric with allowance all over.